What's up everybody, it's Critical. It's that special time again, where we leave out milk and cookies, get all cozy in our beds, and hope that during the night, a bad rap battle artist will sweep through, take our milk and cookies, and leave us some fire bars on a piece of paper. So today's abysmal rap battle is brought to you by Beast Mode. Now I know that name probably dates it, it's from 2010, because Beast Mode hasn't been spoken since 2010, that died many years ago. But... Let's go ahead and see what 2010 has to bring us. What many would consider the golden age of rap. Let's check it out. One, we're here today in Toronto at college at Toby's. Uh, we're getting it in. We got the rapper to my right here. Yo, what's up, big EFA? Stand the fuck up. Let's do this. This video is like a 2008-2009 YouTuber starter kit here. This is an effect from Sony Vegas 7 that I used to use in my Gears of War montages. It's nostalgic to see this effect make its return. Well, I guess not really make its return because we're kind of looking back in time at 2010 YouTube editing. And the rapper to my left. Yo, what up? It's a deadly ultra blazing zombie. Jay's in the sky. Like Ron Jeremy, let's get it in, motherfucker. In case you didn't catch his full name, it is OG blazing zombie, joints to the sky, Ron Jeremy's condom inspector, pillow repairman. <laughs> All right, we got a minute on Epic over here. All right, yo, hold it down. Now I won't lie, I you do some shit, cause I don't even know who this bitch is. And I gotta say one thing to you. What the fuck is dubs when you don't smoke any of it? And all I wanna say, okay, yo, fuck. Here's the first of many chokes from Epic here. I also love his beginning where he tells a silent crowd to hold it down. For those of you who aren't too familiar with rap battles, hold it down is a very powerful phrase, and it's meant to kind of calm the crowd down when it gets too hyped up over some spitting of fire. So to tell a silent crowd to hold it down, it's genius. He's taking it a step further. Look, I know you guys are going to get rowdy with these bars, but go ahead and just calm yourself now. Enter a mode of zen before I just lay down this verbal smackdown. Alright, now he says he'd be smoking dubs, like I said, so he says. But I bet if I lit one up, he'd complain, bitch, whitey, and then once again, bitch complain about not having enough YouTube plays. Now he's initiating a strategic pause in his rhyming, and much like that dope forearm tattoo of flames going up his arm, he is about to unleash some of the hottest rhymes this world has ever heard, just leaving the crowd on the edge of their seat and their patience. Alright, now you see that I'm a lion in this game, and my rhymes recite the fact that I'm a beast, and I will chair your chains. Because for one thing, this shit ain't real. Because you're just a bitch and I'm... I don't know. <laughs> Sit down, bitch. About to chair those chains. That's how you rap battle right there. That is how it's done. He doesn't even know what he is. He couldn't think of a single adjective to express the level of beast mode epicness he is. Well, yeah, because you started with your little elementary school alphabet recital, so it's natural to think that you're going that route. But I guess the joke's on us. Yeah, you got us good there. I mean, so this dude actually does a decent rap thing here. He's got words prepared that actually rhyme, unlike Epic, who's out here on the grind. So, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this man's part, so we're going right back to the star of this show, Epic. Epic is taking a power stance here, rocking back and forth like he just fucking shit his pants and just trying to hold it in without getting it on the floor. This is what rap battling should look like. <laughs> Yo, beating this bitch, I don't even know why Rob Lowe did it. Probably want to give me an easy win. And I'm not religious, but isn't beating a bitch a sin? <laughs> and I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Trying to make a name for myself when everyone's saying I don't got it. Who the fuck's lying and telling you that? Who's saying Epic doesn't have it? Give me their names. I'll share those chains. If anyone's got talent for rap battle, it's Epic. You rocking a Jay's hat with some fake swag? You don't got shit, homie. All I gotta say is one thing to you again. And I'm saying a lot, but I don't give a shit, because I'm getting off the top of the head. 
<clears throat> now I might as well call this your obituary, because I'm fucking done with you. I'm gonna murder this cat, stomp on his face, and Kirby the fool! He was so close to accidentally rhyming something there. Now I've said this before, it's a situation a lot of people find themselves in. They're walking down a dangerous street late at night, all of a sudden man jumps out of the bush, challenges you to a rap battle for your life and your money. Well, you don't have anything prepared, you're a little caught off guard, but you've got to be ready to rap battle for your life. And I think the best course of action here is to just spout off gibberish that you can rhyme with other gibberish. You know, like, oh, ho ho dee dowdy and the po-slingers and the gun-slingers, if I see a holy woman with a voice, I'll call her a nun-singer. You know, anything, just to make some rhymes, just so that way everyone's not taken aback by just how uncomfortable the whole thing is. <laughs> okay. And now what I'm gonna do is line up a real dub in front of his parents when I kill him. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll just be like, this is what your son did in his spare time. Didn't you like him? And then they'll be like, nah, he should have followed his real career as a mime, never opening his trap. And I'm gonna put him in a box so he can never open his gap. <laughs> I don't mean to poke holes in his infallible rhymes or anything like that, but if he kills his parents and then lights up the joint in front of their dead bodies, you can't exactly ask them a question and expect an answer. It just doesn't work that way, Epic. And at the end of the day, I'll bulldozer the fucker, put him in his grave, and then say, I murked him. Bury the grave. Bury the grave. <laughs> You don't want to get bulldozed by Epic. Also, shout outs to the man in the crowd who did that great Hollywood over the top action man bury the grave line. Great shit. I'm skipping Dubs's shit again because it's not bad, and I'd really like to keep showcasing the beautiful beast that is Epic. Hey. Okay. Round three on Epic. All right. See, sir. Yeah, I don't mean no disrespect, but how the fuck did you ever think you could win against Nat Select? And he no-showed battles, and you still kicked your ass. And you still think, oh no, I got a little pass. And I'm gonna battle again in beast mode and have another shot. But here I am, here with the path. I got everything you need, everything you can ever want. The real doves on this shit spinning fast like you ever want. I don't know. But all I gotta say, dubs here spin so fast like he's on Tourette's. But this bitch still gets a fucking welfare check. Liz was his mom, and I fucked her until she was, well, old. Mmm, he fucked your mom till she was old. Now you're letting Epic into his zone. Now some feelings about to get hurt. Just look at that face. That's a face of a man who would fuck some moms. You don't want him to be fucking your mom, cause he'll fuck her till she's real old. <laughs> days and days, and then shit grew cold, got loose, and her twat tied in, and got really... mold. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just trying because I've been shit. drinking, I don't know, but I'm sipping, and you just a lame ass fool who's not even thinking. And I don't even want anything to say to you and anything to do with you, because after this battle, I'm through with you. And if you want, I could throw fists after this battle. And I'm sick and tired of you, you're nothing that I can't handle. And yes, like you did say, I will call you skinny, we'll call you white, and we'll call you a piece of shit, because you can't even do nothing. <laughs> Yo, he's a bitch. <laughs> so needless to say, landslide victory for Epic in this battle. Truly one of the better performances in all of rap battling that I've ever seen. And yeah, that's it. See ya.